Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a brand new video. This one should actually be a really good one because we're going to go on a bike ride out to the Peak District and yeah, we're just going to see how far we get really. I've got no real plan. I'm all thinking about like when to do it, but yeah, I'm not too like fussed on where I end up. I'm just going to ride and like see where I end up because I like doing that more than just having like a direct route. I like to just go and see where I end up. So yeah, we'll do just that. And I'm sure it'll be fun. Let's go. Right, out on the bike now. This should be a fun ride. A little stair jump to kick things off. Love it. <laughs> Let's get the hill bonds going. Let's get the grass jump going. That's a ride like that. <laughs> Mr. Real is doing my head and it keeps on like changing. It's really annoying. Would you believe it like two weeks ago when I had a new derailleur put on this? I really wish I did it myself now. Alright, we're just heading up towards Hillsborough now. We'll cruise through here yeah, and then we'll be going out towards the country road. Go on then, let's get the first wheelie of the video. That's it. Got to have the wheelies going. Nice warm up wheelie. Almost got a centre stair though. <laughs> well, I'm just heading out of Hillsborough now. I'm going to go the Rivlin Way along like Rivlin Valley Road. So. Yeah, it's a decent ride along there. The road seems like it never ends though. <laughs> And if we go this way, eventually we'll get to like a really good hill bomb, but that's miles away yet. Yeah. Looks like we're actually catching up another biker as well. <laughs> that Mustang looks right nice in that blue. Okay, instead of going along low, don't we? We'll go down this way and we'll go on some trails. I've got to make the ride fun with a few trails mixed in. Oh. <laughs> got a cool little jump right here. Oh. <laughs> this is a cool bridge. Also, I think we are actually going to have to ride through a bit of water. Hopefully it's not too deep. We've got stepping stones, let's just carry it back across. Alright, back on the bike, let's keep on going. Right into the next set. This bit's the one that actually leads into the uh, Rivlin Park. Park's absolutely empty. <laughs> it's really nice on here, I haven't been on here in quite a while. Oh no, I just realised I forgot to bring any drink or food with me. That's not good. I planned on bringing stuff, but I left it. Trust me to do that. Oh well, we should survive. It's really nice just riding along this river up there. Much better than with Broadway anyway. Small little bridge here, but it's not fall into the water. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're at one of the first ponds now, which is a good sign, so we'll keep going this way. This will lead us out onto the road, but then in a minute we'll go back onto the trails. This is sketchy. Let's go for it! <laughs> they were quite steep them ones. This is such a cool little path right here. It's almost like a little island path, it's like a river on either side. Right, we're now going on the second one. This one's a little bit bigger. More like double water sides of the path. <laughs> okay, if I remember right, it's gonna get like quite bumpy down here. It's already kind of bumpy on this bit. <laughs> here we go, this is a bit bumpy. A little bit more of a challenge. We'll do it though. Wet locks as well, so I've got to watch out for like any uh, wheel spin or anything. That was a bit sketchy. <laughs> There's like a million different paths in this bit of woods. <laughs> Jump. Only a little one, but we still got it. <laughs> it's quite a challenge riding along here because you've got to just keep on powering through all the bumps. Hand up the stairs apparently. <laughs> I'll probably go the right way on this little section. Looks like we've got quite the hill to go up in a sec. Head up. <laughs> Straight up. Right now, another pond. It's quite a common theme here, isn't there? We all have ponds. Right now, we're coming to the end of the woods once again. Right now, on to the really fast roads. This one for a little bit, so yeah, we'll just take a steady cruise. I've noticed today, it's not actually that sunny, but it's still really, really warm. It's quite hard to actually ride here because it's like a constant up and all the way there. 
So yeah, it's not like particularly steep, but you know, like when it's just constant, it like really works on the legs. We're starting to get really far right like, now. It's amazing how fast you can like make progress when you're on road. But yeah, we're doing well for time. We've got to eat some pace, so yeah, all good, but let's keep going. Okay, now we're starting to get to like the big downhill part, my favourite part. <laughs> My favourite part coming this way anyway. Just stopped quickly, I've just got to this massive reservoir right here. It looks absolutely amazing. We've just come from right up there, we've done loads of hill bumps through up mountains and yeah, here we are. So yeah, I'll just chill out here, have like two minutes, quickly take some people, maybe do a snapchat and then yeah, we'll keep on going. I think we want to head that way because I'm going to try and get to doing. Let's get a little wheeler. Whoa, <laughs> do a little bit better than that. That's more like it. There's actually like a footpath and a bike path on this as well. <laughs> I suppose you do kind of need it. Okay, we'll be crossing this bridge, then we're going to be turning right, and then that'll lead us up to Derwent Reservoir. Such a good view around here. I wish you guys can see it. I'll show you guys better later on, don't worry. It's very bumpy on here. It don't look it, but trust me when I say it, it's really bumpy. So yeah, we'll ride all the way around this reservoir, and we'll ride all the way around the reservoir at the end. It's quite a big one round, probably like 16 miles all the way around this reservoir. Or like this set of reservoirs, sorry. So yeah, if I remember, I'll show you guys how far I've been on this, but I'll probably forget, so don't count on it. Yeah, I'll do my best though. This is a cool little bit of path. A little bit bumpy. Pretty good though, right next to the water. I didn't even know this path was down here, to be honest. <laughs> Saying that this path all the over up here. You can never know all of them. You get a little wheelie on the bumpy surface. <laughs> oh, it's kind of sketchy because if I fall sideways, I'll be at water. This is a sick little path. I'm definitely coming along this path every single time to get to like the main part now. What are they? That's weird. Might be something to do with the water, I don't know. Looks like we've got a little bridge here. I'll have to get off though, because there's some pretty steep steps. Yeah, I've always been along the road on this part, so yeah, I just got onto the dam a bit earlier. It's nice to find new stuff, like new areas to go. I always thought you went allowed down here, but there's no saying you can't. Let's get up these and then we'll get back riding. All right, back on the bike now. This is a really good little path, because it's just sort of like, it's a little technical, but it's still pretty easy, so I can still make a lot of distance. There aren't many places you can go with views like this, I know that much. I'm lucky to live so close to this. I mean, it is a little bit of a ride, but it's easy, like, it's doable, and like, you can get here and have a great day out. I'd love to take the trip back around Derwent. That'd be like a ridiculously good ride. But I just won't get away with it, and I know I wouldn't. If I thought I'd get away with it, I would've done it ages ago. Problem is, Derwent's that one of the most well-known places, so it's really, really busy. And everyone has reported me. I've get reported like 100 times. Plus, all country guys know all these paths really well. And it'd be hard to even get away, so... I don't know, it's just probably a bad idea. Maybe if I got like some really bright lights at night, it'd be all right. I don't know, it'd still be hard getting down here. That will most likely never happen, but if I ever see an opportunity to do it, I'll make sure I do it. This is a lot quieter, this path as well. Most people who know about the road don't only go along the road, so... Yeah, there's a lot less people on here, which means I can just chill out a bit more and not have to dodge people and stuff, which is always good. Okay, the path's just led back out to the road, so we'll go along here for a little bit, and then we'll hit the trails again soon. Right, into the woods we go. Definitely not a path, but we're going on towards... There we go. <laughs> I said path, this is more of a road. And just like that, we're coming up to the actual massive dam. It looks amazing.
This dam is really cool, but it weren't easy to get in. I'll show you guys what I did. Make this hard to climb down normally. Never mind when you've got a bike in your hand. Oh my God. Did it. It was a lot easier getting back over than it were initially getting over. Right, back to riding then. We've got a long way to go. This ride's going to be great. It's already been great. If I do remember to show you guys the distance on my computer, just remember to take it with a grain of salt because I'm always in a wheeler. So it won't actually be picking up proper distance while I'm doing this. But you've got a wheeler. Got a little hill bomb going right here. Love it. I still love it constantly, don't I? Because <laughs> I'm always having a great time. I've got my tunes blasting in my earphones, happy as ever. They're all like a million paths going all over. Like, I'm sticking to the basic track pretty much around Derwent, but there's paths that are like turning off everywhere, but they'll go all on their own, like 10 mile bike rides or whatever. So, yeah, I don't want to get too off course if I can help it. But, yeah, we go where we go. We'll just see what happens. I don't know how well you guys can see, but right now we are just going past Howden Reservoir. Well, I say going past, we're just going onto it. So we'll ride round this reservoir and then we'll go back towards Derwent. You alright mate? <laughs> when you've got no friends with you, just resort to talking to animals. <laughs> I kind of like riding on my own to be fair. Like, I enjoy riding with friends as well. There's disadvantages and advantages to both really. Like when I'm on my own, I can keep a good pace up. I don't have to worry about anyone else's pace, whether they're going faster or slower. I don't have to worry about anyone else being tired. I can just do my thing really. Plus when I'm on my own, I talk more in videos. So videos will be longer and better. Just to show you guys, see that like island looking thing over there? That's what we're riding around, but it goes all the way down there and it dips in. It dips in down there, it dips in down there, so it's a lot bigger than you think. Yeah, can't wait to ride it though, let's keep going. All right, the road ends here, now it's onto the trails. If I remember this right, we've got a right hill climb up here. It's gonna take a while. We've got it though. Got some sheep right here. Nice. See all sorts of animals out here. Just had a quick stop on here. We've got loads of friends here. <laughs> it's quite busy. Everyone's coming to say hello. Look at these. <laughs> I think they want some food, but I've not got any. Proper busy around here. This one's hiding behind a tree. Hello. Hello. I don't want him to like ram me or anything. <laughs> I'll show you guys down here though. It's pretty cool. Just a little bridge down here, but really nice. I don't know what the bridge is called. I forgot the name, but. I've had loads of pictures here and stuff. I used to come here all the time with my granddad and that's how I know like this area. Yeah, it's pretty cool around here. Look at him looking at my bike. <laughs> Leave my bike alone, don't poo on it. <laughs> There's loads around here. Excuse me. Can I have my bike back please? Thank you. <laughs> all right, back to riding now. It's a little bit sandy on this bit, so we'll have to be careful. Mine's a bit of, like wheel spinning and stuff. But we'll get through it all. I've just noticed something. My back tyre is very flat. It's not flat flat, but it's like, it's not got much air in. I hope I ain't got a slow puncture, because if I have, I'll be a bit stuck, because I've not even got any signal out here. So I'll have to walk for miles till I find a signal, and then call for a lift, which wouldn't be good. Yeah, we're all right for now, so we'll just keep on pedaling and up at best. It's really bumpy on this bit and I've got to go uphill so it takes some challenging. Look at this, the views are amazing. And they've got all like trees being planted here so soon this will all be overgrown with forest, a bit like over there if you can see it. I'd love to get to the top of that mountain next to me for a photo but I don't know if there's like a path that leads up. Sure I could just like try and walk up it but it's very steep, it'd be a lot easier if I could find a path. I decided to just push it up guys but it gets very steep towards the top so yeah, we'll just hope for the best. It'll probably take a while to get up because it's bigger than it looks. Oh, this is so hard to get up. Oh, it's killing me, but we're doing it. Oh, you must be joking. How come don't we up here to see a fence? There's no way this is going to stop me. Is this electric? I hope it's not. I don't think it is. Oh, that's the bike over. Nah, it's not electric.
Right, we're over that. Let's keep going up. The views from up here are incredible. It's so bumpy, my wheels just sink into them. <laughs> just like that. You just stop out of nowhere, there's nothing you can do about it. From what I can see, I don't think there's a path anywhere on this entire hill. Not on the top, anyway. This probably looks so easy to ride for long, but trust me, it's not. I've chilled up here for way too long. This grass is so comfy. I've just been sat down on my phone taking in this amazing view. But yeah, I think we should probably try and find a way to the path now, so I'll give it a go. It'll probably take a while though. Oh my god, I've found a path. I've been pushing for so long, but I'm finally back on a path. I can ride again. Right, this hill looks very steep and very loose, so yeah, we'll just see how we go on. Kind of dangerous though. I don't want to fall down the edge of this because it looks like a big drop. Let's get some speed up a little bit. Not too much though, we don't want to die. Oh, this is sketchy. Great view of the down ahead, I don't know if you can see it, but... Yeah, great view. This is quite a sick little path. Yeah, it is steep. Oh my God. It's like random big bumps everywhere, so you've got to hold on very tight and just be careful. Let's not run into this gate. Oh, to be fair, I'm struggling to stop. <laughs> That was everything I've got. <laughs> I don't think I'm meant to even be in here. I don't have a clue. Wow, this is sick. All right, and just like that, I think we've made it down. Back onto the trail. That was sketchy. It was so much fun. I need new brakes now after that. <laughs> I'm really starting to regret not bringing food and drinks now. Obviously, I did intend to, but nothing I can do yet. Well, the sun's still out for now, so at the moment, it's really nice. Anyway, we're just uh, coming to the end of this last reservoir, so now we'll be going back onto Derwin. It wasn't actually as hard coming round there as I remember. I suppose I'm a lot older now, so I will find it easier. I'll tell you what, though, that hill was an absolute killer to get up. My car was burning. But yeah, we got up. We always get there. Right, it looks like now we've got a nice little hill bomb to go down. Once you have to win down over and up, put it that way. <laughs> Probably could slow down a little bit. <laughs> if I lose it on this gravel, it's gonna hurt badly. It's so tempting to go quick though, there's even signs saying slow down. Right, well that hill bomb's pretty sick, let's keep on going. I'm definitely gonna have to come down here more often and maybe try some of the different paths out around here because there's loads of hard ones around here. Now we're going past the first stand that I went to. That's the one where I got the drone out and stuff. So yeah, we've done like all the main reservoirs around here. And this should lead back down towards the main road. Okay, we're on A road now, but not the main road. And this is so nice. Like it's so soft on my bum because I've been going along bumps for so long and my seat's rock hard. And then this is just smooth. This is quite a nice little road to have a blast along to be fair. Just over there, I can see the bridge that we started at. So yeah, not too far off now. And then we've got a massive hill climb. Okay, we've now made it back out onto the main road. So we'll just head along here for a bit, then we'll be going straight up to the hill. Right, here we go, the hill starts now. There's actually a pub right here, but unfortunately it's closed at the moment, which is a shame because I am really thirsty. Don't get me wrong, it's a complete rip-off. I think it's like three pounds, three pounds fifty just for a glass of coke, but do you know when you're this thirsty, it don't matter. <laughs> it's quite a sketchy road this, because everyone absolutely blasts along here, so... Yeah, I'll have to stay really close to edge. This hill's not as bad as I remember, to be fair. I'm just going up, taking like a steady pace on the way up. And yeah, it's not too bad. Going back into Sheffield now. Always good news, and I think we're at the top of the hill now. So yeah, we'll have a little bit of flat road riding, and then it's all downhill. Well, that was just past the wind now, and we just did nothing to us, but... Do you know what's funny? I'm not actually even tired, like my legs are fine, but it's just my bum that's killing from this seat. I've said I'm gonna get a more comfy one for ages, but I can never find one. All the really comfy ones are really big, and I want one that like looks sort of normal. Almost home, guys. Can you see that? 40 miles. 40 mile bike ride. And that's not including like my wheelies and stuff, so it's probably a lot more. I bet it's like 45 or something, but 
Yeah, we'll not include that because it's not really fair to just put a random number on it. But yeah, I'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments. Remember to leave a like. If you've got this far, you must have sort of enjoyed it. So yeah, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.